What is up Libra? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a November 2022 reading for the sign of Libra, all placements. Keep in mind that this may not resonate with you. Let's take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Alright, feel free to check out your other placements here on the page. Sorry that we're not doing any makeup today. Sorry that you're not getting full glam from me today. I know that some of you don't mind, but I just did not have the energy to do my makeup again today. So let's just get through your reading. Intuitively, I'm channeling pay attention to your surroundings this month. As in like your outside world, your surroundings will be giving you insight into what's to come, as well as confirming things that you're thinking. Okay, and then I also got climbing the ladder. So in my vision today, in my surroundings, I saw these two men passing a ladder over a gate. And that's how I'm getting this message for you. You're climbing some kind of ladder. So it's like, for me, I saw this ladder being passed and Spirit said this message is for Libra. So I'm seeing it in my exterior, in my external reality. And then they said climbing the ladder. So there's some kind of ladder that you're climbing. Okay. And pay attention to your surroundings. Those are your opening messages. Let's see what the cards have to say for Libra, November 2022. You are pulling Dolphin which is then soulmate, okay? So you're meeting a soulmate this month or you're connecting to a soulmate this month or you're currently in a relationship with a soulmate, okay? Doesn't have to be. Dolphins can also represent friends or friendship. So there could be a focus for like friendships, relationships, okay, this month. Dolphin says, don't worry, be happy. So whatever goes on this month, whatever comes out for you in the cards, November, don't worry, be happy. That's your message. Don't worry, be happy, okay? So you may see dolphins this month. You may have a dolphin tattoo, okay? Or there's something about dolphins that is going to be significant. I'm also getting a lot of like mermaid energy. Okay, so you could be a mermaid or you could be like talking to a mermaid. I'm getting something about sirens. Someone is a siren or someone has the voice of a siren or someone is beautiful like a siren, okay? You may be visiting Greece or you may be from Greece or something like that. Or there's like a Greece trip that's really significant. I'm getting something about Greece, okay? All right, let's see where this goes for you this month, Libra. We're going to pull some more oracle cards and just see what comes out. But I like this. We're off to a good start. Dolphins. You may be seeing a lot of twos as well. Two, two, two. Okay, or 22, 22. Or 12, 22. Twos to me talk about like balance, co-creation, partnership, friendship. So I see that there's a focus for that this month. Partnership, relationships, friendships. Okay, maybe new people or maybe reconnecting with people. Okay or strengthening a bond that you currently have all right what else is coming in for my libras it's also like pay attention to your surroundings because you're going to see a dolphin or because you're going to see something really like magical and you might miss it if you blink or you might miss it if you're not looking or if you're not paying attention you'll miss something like really magical is what i'm getting okay you know how dolphins like you can only see like the the tops of them as they like come in and out of the water or something like that that's what i'm getting it's like if you blink you'll miss it it's like someone's like hey there's a dolphin over there there's a dolphin over there and you're like where is it i don't see it because you weren't looking when they were looking or something like that okay i hope that makes sense what else is coming out for libra in november fall okay so the leaves are changing colors okay november is still fall right okay I feel like you're changing or something is internally changing within you this month. I feel like you're being more open or you're being guided to be more open. Okay. When it comes to like meeting people or when it comes to dating or something like that. I'm getting something about keep an open mind. Someone is not your usual type. This soulmate is not your usual type. I'm getting that you're meeting them this fall or you've already met them. Okay. Or you're going to meet them this November before the fall ends or something like that. Okay. But I'm getting something about this person's not like your usual type. I'm also getting that someone's very artistic, like they make sculptures or they make paintings or they make something very like creatively with their hands, okay, is what I'm getting, or this is you. You may have some kind of like fall project that you're working on this month with friends or with a group of people, okay. What else, please, for Libra? We're seeing healing, wow. So you could be healing things with a soulmate or healing things with somebody who's really important to you. Okay, but this card does say self-love, vulnerable, and unblock the chakras, right? So there's a focus for you this month on healing, on meditating, on um, 
getting out in nature i'm seeing something about birds as well you may be seeing a lot of birds too birds are messengers okay but i feel like the birds are trying to help you there's something about um paying attention to your surroundings because it's trying to help you i feel like the world is healing the earth is healing so you are healing there's something about like divine feminine energy you could be a divine feminine but of course you don't have to be if you don't resonate with the energy this reading can still be for you but i'm getting something about like divine feminine like dark feminine energy like rising from the ashes it's giving like phoenix energy Okay, so you may have Scorpio on your chart, or you may also want to listen to the Scorpio reading too. Okay, we're going to dive into your tarot and see exactly what all of this means, but your focus this month is being happy, not worrying, going with the changes, okay, and healing, and self-love, okay? You're being guided to be vulnerable, I'm hearing. Also, oranges may be significant, or clementines. I'm seeing something about oranges or clementines, okay? Florida, you may live in Florida. Okay, or like tangerines could be significant too. I'm getting something about like orange foods or orange fruits. You may be eating them or you may want to incorporate them into your diet. Okay, in the Virgo reading, we were talking about sacral chakra healing. So that could be something that's going on with you too. You could be feeling some kind of like pain or like um, stress or something like that in your hips. So just make sure you're stretching out your hips. Okay, stretching out your legs. All right, and eating like orange foods or wearing orange colors. Okay. Tell me about this dolphin card for Libra for November. What is this dolphin card? The lovers, a soulmate, twin flame, divine counterpart, whatever you're attracting, whatever it is that you believe in. I, I just see that's happening this month or you're currently in that connection and it's going to be getting better, right? Don't worry, be happy. Okay, wow. You could be connected to a Gemini or someone who's very mercurial, someone who has a lot of Gemini or Virgo in their chart, if you know that. If you don't know that, I'm just getting that this person has very good communication skills. This person's probably very intelligent too, very smart, very men mentally stimulating, okay? And I'm getting that this person likes to be positive or they like to be happy. They like to be like in a good mood. And there's something about you being around them that also puts you in a good mood and it puts them in a good mood and it's just like everyone's in a good mood. I'm getting that. Something about everyone's in a good mood. You may be going to some kind of like dinner um, or like family get together this month and it feels like everyone's in a good mood. Don't worry, be happy. Okay. I'm also getting something like a same-sex connection or like coming out to your family or something like that. Someone may be doing this. Okay. I'm hearing everyone's going to be happy for you or they already know or something like that. Okay. What's the fall card? Yeah, the six of cups. There is somebody who wants back into your life, or this is you trying to come back into someone's life. I'm getting something about like reconnection. You're reconnecting with Soul Tribe. This could just be friends, people you haven't talked to in a really long time. You're getting a chance to reconnect with them this month, and it's healing things for you. It's making you happier. It's making you feel good. It's helping you to pay attention to your surroundings and like live in the present moment. The six of cups also talks about like a soulmate, okay, or friendship, right? So there's a big focus on that soulmates friendship love connection for you this month and healing that some of you may have been like so distant or you just may have not really had it in your life lately because you've been doing a lot of self-love okay and now it feels like there's other people around you okay what's the healing energy please for libra yeah two of swords in the reverse you're healing your mindset too i feel like you're going with the changes you're going with the flow you're letting things happen for you i feel like you can't stop something and you're recognizing that i'm hearing like you can't beat them so join them that's what I'm getting. You can't beat them, so join them, right? I feel like that's a good thing for you. There's like some kind of competition or there's some kind of like pushback for you and you're like, you know what, instead of fighting it, instead of resisting it, I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to join it. And because you're doing that, you're healing and other people are healing too. This is interesting. It's giving like you wanted to do something all on your own or you wanted to be the one who's different. You wanted to be the one who did everything on your own or something like that. You wanted to be alone. But now I'm getting that you're recognizing you can't do it all on your own or you don't have to or that you do like what other people like or you do want to be around other people or something like that. So you're not resisting this healing. I'm getting that you can heal with other people. Okay. Or there's other people coming in to help you heal or something like that. Okay. You may also be doing a lot of meditating this month or... You may be getting into meditation. I feel like that'd be really good for you. I just see you healing your mindset when it comes to love, when it comes to soulmates, when it comes to relationships and partnerships. Okay. And when it comes to yourself, I feel like you're talking to yourself very kindly this month, or you should be very positive. You're like filling your mind with positivity. You're filling your body with positivity. You know, I'm also hearing something about body lotion or like cocoa butter or shea butter or something like that. 
you may want to like moisturize your skin or make sure that you have lotion to moisturize your skin okay i'm just picking up on that when i start channeling i start channeling so whatever we get whatever we get you may have just picked up a body lotion recently or you may need to okay i'm just seeing something about your skin being dehydrated okay or a little ashy so spirit is saying something about moisturizer make sure that you are moisturizing your skin okay last card please for libra how do you want to wrap this up for libra november 2022 Your last card is Judgment. So yeah, definitely check out the Scorpio reading too, okay? But this Judgment card, it, it feels like, um, it feels like peace. It feels like you're coming to the close of something. It feels like something is like finally making sense for you. And I'm just getting something about like peace. Peace of mind. Peace in this relationship, okay? Peace in general. And I feel like everyone's on the same page or everyone's getting along. There's something about that. Like we're all getting along. No one's judging you. I'm hearing the only person who can judge you is you. Whatever you're doing right now, don't be ashamed of it. Some of you, I feel like you're smoking weed or you're using some kind of like um, coping mechanism and spirit is saying, don't be ashamed of it. Okay. No one's judging you. I'm hearing only God can judge you. That's coming up. So keep that in mind. And then lastly, don't worry. Be happy. That's your message for this month, Libra. I hope that it helped. I'm sending you love always. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated and I will see you next time.